All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about continuing education. So if you guys are journeymen, or I don't think this would really apply to apprentices, but maybe it would, um, maybe if you're not in a school or whatever. So um, I want to show you the website I just used for my continuing education. Um, my boss told me about it. It's a little different than he explained, but it turned out for the better. So um, obviously, I'm a little mentally retarded, but let me explain how and why. So I was going to my, um, I was looking at my Oregon license right here, and right here it says continuing education required 24 hours, and then it says of those you need eight continue, continuing, or code, you need eight code change um, hours, and then four Oregon rule and law, so for Oregon that's what I need, but it says Currently, I have 20 hours, and I just figured I need, I just figure I needed a, uh, I figure I needed 24. So I signed up. What I did was I signed up for the 24-hour class, and I could have just signed up for like a four-hour class and got got it done for $50. Instead, I was retarded and did the 24-hour class, and um, it cost me $133. So um, hopefully. So these hours right here, these 20 hours that I have right here for my continuing education should expire next month or in October or whatever when my license expires. Um, so hopefully the extra 20 hours I just did will continue over. Um, I don't know how to really explain this, but anyways, I only needed four hours. So hopefully the other 20 will carry over for the next like three years or whatever. Maybe I'm just retarded on that as well but anyways hopefully that'll help me out in the long run and it'll work itself out so um hopefully i didn't just waste a bunch of money for no reason so anyways beyond that um so this is the website i used it's called um jade learning right here and basically what you do is you make an account real quick it's free to sign up and free to take the classes but once you're finished um, they, that's when they charge you once you're finished with the class so you make your account and then you click on a uh, new course and then whatever course you got um, electrical is what we're going for I did the Oregon one already but I will have to do the Washington one the only reason why I haven't done this yet is because I don't know what hours I need but right here the requirements say you need 24 hours um, within a three-year period eight must be code change and four on the um, RCW slash WAC, so I'm going to have to do the WAC one no matter what because Oregon doesn't transfer that over. And I thought some of these say that the Oregon hours transferred over to Washington, but it doesn't look like it because when I clicked on the program or whatever, it said that it didn't or whatever. It wasn't an option to transfer it to Washington. So anyways, here's the packages right here. What I did for Oregon was a 24-hour package. It's $169. But you can pick if you just need like four hours or eight hours, you can just do an $85 one, $85, $50 or whatever. But you're going to want to make sure that you, uh, I'll just pick one real quick, but, um, and then it shows up right here and then you click on it. But what you're going to want to do is make sure this website is approved for your state. And um, what I mean by that is you want to make sure that, um, that your state website um, hopefully it says, um, hopefully it says it's an approved website on there if you can find it. If not, it should be, um, it should just automatically work, but I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. So, um, hopefully this website, you can, ch you can choose your state or whatever on your course. So hopefully it wouldn't steer you wrong and give you courses that wouldn't be approved by your, um, state, um, electrical board or whatever. So anyways. At least for the Oregon one real quick. Um, I don't know, these are just random questions right here, but I'm just gonna click some random answers real quick. But for the Oregon test, it was really easy. Okay, so here we go, this is what I'm talking about. So uh, once you get on your test, it'll say eight hour course, 100 questions. Um, you have, um, so, I don't know what that means. Um, so you got, you have to get a 75% out of 100, so you have to get 75 questions out of 100. And it says you have to accumulate six hours and 40 minutes, so um, hopefully I didn't screw mine up because what I did was, so maybe this video isn't gonna be actually good at all, but anyways, um, what I did was, um, 
basically what you go through and do is you go through okay I got that one right but what you go through and do is you go through and just click a bunch of answers and then um, usually it should tell you the right answer at the bottom that one didn't but basically you click on one so this one doesn't and this one has a timer at the bottom the Oregon one that I did didn't have a timer but um, basically you could probably do the same thing the other one I did was easier um, the Oregon one um, basically I clicked on random answers and then it told me basically this correct answer and then I would go through write all the answers down and then I would take the test again it would be the same test and then I'll just go back real quick and just click on the right answers and basically get a hundred percent so um, this Washington one's a little different so um, try not to steer you guys in the wrong direction or whatever but um, basically you could probably just go through this like four times and get all the right answers so you'd go through the test again if this if the second test is the same you go through number four number a you know is not right so you go click on number B maybe B is not right you go through the test again write that down A and B is not right and then you click on C and etc so um, anyways you have to get an accumulated hour right here of six hours or whatever so on if if this was my test then I would um then I would need to just leave this open for like six hours or whatever so you can just leave this open and do nothing once you um, once you're on your last question or whatever like that so anyways um, that's basically I just wanted to explain that to you guys so I don't know how to get out of here so anyways um, hopefully this helps out I basically took 24 hours of classes um, I, the first test I missed it by 74 I missed it by 1% and that's when I figured out this the second test was the same as the first so that's when I went through and basically memorized the answers basically on the first test and then on the second test that's when I started writing the answers down and then um, and then I just blew through it got all of it wrong went through a second time and got all of it right did that for all all the rest of my three tests or whatever so I did 24 hours of continuing education in like three and a half to four hours so um, it's the eight hour code the eight hour test or a hundred questions so um, I did 24 hours so um, the the eight hours was 100 questions the other eight hours was another 100 questions and then the four hours were each I think 50 questions so that's like 400 questions and basically three and a half to four hours so making up really good time I don't know if you actually go to a class and sit down and have someone teach you this if you you'll probably actually have to sit through 24 hours of someone talking to you if you do it legitimately um, some people might um, if you have a cool person or whatever they'll just sign it or whatever someone's told me that Someone I know said that they were behind on their hours or whatever. They need to get their continuing education done and um, they didn't have enough time. So basically the guy just signed it and he they paid them the fee, but they actually never sat through a class. So that would be the way to do it um, if you don't care. But um, this is probably one of the fastest ways. Granted, I haven't gone through everything else and um, this is the only website I've used, but this sounds like a really good idea. And uh, so, yeah, so that's that's what I did and it worked so hopefully there wasn't a time requirement I may, might go make another account real quick and double check on that but I never saw a time uh, timer on my organ test or anything like that so hopefully I didn't screw myself and get myself in trouble but anyways that's what I just want to give you guys a little video I will be going out of town for like two weeks starting on Sunday so like three days uh, Sunday morning I'll be leaving for like two weeks and so I don't know how if I'll be able to make videos, but if I do make videos, it'll probably just be off of my phone. But I do need to get a new phone because the audio keeps cutting out. Um, I'm going to end this video before 10 minutes, but anyways. I just wanted to give you guys an update, so that's all I really got for you guys. And um, I will be trying to work on the, the Power Tool video, and I think there was someone else that left me another comment. And I've seen it, so if I find it again, then I will definitely um, make that video as well. But I'll do the power tool video, and I still want to do how to videos of how to wire stuff, some basic stuff. So, um, with that being said, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you guys shortly again within a few weeks maximum. But, anyways, I'm going to try to make another video tomorrow, so um, I will see you guys later. Peace. Alright, so I made a second account real quick. As you can see, the 
the Oregon test right here that I did all four of them and doesn't say anything about a time limit so I lucked out there but on the Washington one it did so on the Washington one you would just obviously leave your internet browser open for like six hours or whatever so anyways um, also I wanted to mention something that I forgot so I wanted to explain or clarify this so I only needed four hours for my continuing education so the out of my 24 hours that I just did four of that will cover my old stuff and I assume shortly or whenever um, before three years or whatever my old 20 hours that I have right now my 20 continuing education credits I would assume are old and would eventually disappear and then I would need those 20 hours so hopefully hopefully the other extra 20 hours I just did will um, fill in for that and then I'll just next or whenever the next time I need to do continuing education I'll just need to do four hours four hours again or whatever and so hopefully I didn't screw myself but either way live and learn I guess you can't, I can't do anything about it now and then um, yeah so if I lose a little bit of money whatever but hopefully it works out um, hopefully it all works out or whatever so anyways that's all I got for you guys I guess I hit 10 minutes so anyways I'm sorry this video was kind of long but hopefully it helps you out and uh, you get your continued education done as quickly as possible so hopefully this helped you out website again is uh, www.jadelearning.com j-a-d-e learning.com and uh, I'll throw that on the website uh, I'll throw that in the video and I'll catch you guys in the next one see you